raising the white flag for now, but they say this war is just getting started. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Jacqueline Allen. You voted State Representative Steve Lebsock into the State House as a Democrat, but he was a Republican for his last hour in office, and that's all that matters in the eyes of the law. Denver staff is Jennifer Kovaleski is here with us. The politics under the dome getting a little ugly over there. They certainly are. Republicans are taking jabs, and Democrats are calling out the GOP for gloating. But really, this comes down to whether Republicans have the power and legal authority to fill Lepsock's seat. The party's chairman says yes, they do. And at this point, Democrats aren't challenging them. Representative Steve Lebsock is no longer walking the halls at the state capitol. H.R. 1005 is passed. But a week after House lawmakers voted to kick him out over multiple sexual harassment claims, the turmoil continues thanks to Lebsock's last-minute party change. We not only looked at the legal aspects, can we do this, and then there's a second discussion of should we do this. Colorado Republican Chairman Jeff Hayes says they plan to use the power Lebsock gave them and fill his seat with a Republican. Because we can. <laughs> he switched, and uh, we've had our attorney look at the Constitution, look at the statute, and we feel like we're certainly within our authority to appoint this position. But what about the Thornton voters, who, after all, elected Lebsock the Democrat, not Lebsock the Republican? They did have a say. They elected uh, Representative Lebsock, and the body of the legislature voted to remove him. This is due process. Republicans will appoint Lebsock's replacement through a vacancy committee. And then next November, House District 34 voters will get their say. I don't feel like they're disenfranchised at all. They're going to have another bite at the apple. We gave Colorado's Democratic Party the chance to respond. In a statement, they blasted Republicans for gloating, saying they're confident they can win the seat back. Even without it, House Democrats still hold the majority with a seven-seat cushion. A lot of political drama, but let's put this in context. Republicans have until roughly April 1st to fill the seat. By then, there's 39 days left in the session, so we're talking about a little over a month. Shannon?